what it really came down to for me were two things that I knew I needed in my life. I needed to travel and I needed to do something relevant. And that's both. And you just think about how big of a country this is. You know, always so many people don't get the chance to travel abroad or really explore outside of their hometowns beyond tourism. Um, we, we make a life. We sort of choose where we are to make a life. And it's where we're from. It's where we're born and raised. It's where we feel like it's better. Um, for me, when I went to New York, it was because that was the center of the universe, you know, because everything that you'd ever seen that really means something seems like it came out of there or is based there. And it took a lot for me to realize that that's not, it's not true. That's not where the whole world is. And more and more that I was there, I would care about what was going on there and feel more taken away from this place that's my home, that is my place. And we know you, when you know that your life is located, travel is great for that. It's really important to have a home, to have a place that is your own, that is your story. That's what the South is to me, and that's what doing this is for me now, is this, this is our story. What's happening here is where the future of the United States, what we're all going to look like, what we are going to be in the 21st century is being worked out, it's coming into shape. We can see what the future is going to be. But we're not hearing about it from each other. We're not talking to each other about the things that matter. Well, that's the way that I feel. I mean, that's what it means to be separate from each other, to be polarized, is that we're less and less able to talk to each other when we have differences of in experience or in background or put in our positions and opinions. And that's, that's when it's most important to talk. Like I said, you think about how big of a country this is. And we are so diverse and there is so much of us. That's what getting out on the road means. Because you can't just know that. It has to be alive in your experience. And to go out and see and to listen. Well, that's everything. It's definitely what this time in my life is for. I can always tell you a little bit of my story, but I definitely consider myself as one of the one of the ones who did everything right, you know. You work hard in school, you do well, you get all the extracurriculars, you do the internships, you go to college, uh, you go where you know you can make a career, you put everything into it, know exactly what you want to do, all these things. You network, work without pay, everything that we should we weren't told we should expect to do, but we knew we had to when we got there and we did it. And there was just nothing there. You never feel sorry for yourself. You work two and three jobs. You save up. You think about what you could better do. And this is just taking that time. Because what's happening right now... I mean, this is it. We are living this moment. History is changing. And it's our story. It's our life. It's our country. To think that these things are happening and to not be together, living through them, making them, just feels so backward. I don't want to live that way. And I think, you know, as a democracy, in our society, as Americans, we shouldn't live that way. We're all in this together. 